weeks ago we rescued a bunch of ex-battery hens from the Battery Hen Welfare Trust in Devon and most of them are running around like loons investigating everything, eating anything they can get their beaks around, having a great time. But there are some who are a bit weaker um, and this hen's one of them. She was found um, in the hospital wing, uh, just shut down really. She was sleeping, if you poked her she wouldn't move, she didn't really care if you lifted her up. Um, I could tell by the, the emptiness of her crop that she hadn't eaten anything and when I brought her into ICU, which is this little basket in our yurt, uh, she wouldn't even drink. So I used a syringe and um, fed her very, very gently and carefully some tonic water with the syringe. She wouldn't take it on her own so I had to um, hold her beak open a little bit, drop a bit of the tonic water into her mouth and then she'd swallow it. I did the same the next day with this little feeding bottle you can see. I put half X backroom in there, half water and um, mixed it all up until it was like that goo. <laughs> and unfortunately she wouldn't take it like this so I had to do the same as I did with the syringe which is just hold her beak open ever so slightly pop a little bit of the food on her tongue and then she'd lap it up and uh, we'd wait just a few seconds and then I'd do the same thing again so I was doing that for two days the tonic water I was giving her as often as I could so you know, every hour or so um, as much as possible and with the food every well I did it probably about four times a day um, it was only this morning that I decided I'd try and get her to um, nibble it out of the tip of the bottle oh here's here's my other yurt hen <laughs> you can probably tell why she's in anyway <laughs> um, so yeah so I just tried to get her to nibble it out the bottle instead of me having to force it into her gob and finally earlier on uh, today she did start to take it like this absolutely hilarious now because she's just going mad for it um, she can't get enough I can't keep up with her and um, what I'm trying to do now is I dribble a little bit of the goo into her bowl that has normal expat pellets and expat crumb a little bit of corn to try and get her to eat normally so hopefully tomorrow she'll start eating normally but from a hen that was at dead death's door to this gorgeous thing now oh, fills my heart uh, this is to introduce you to tiny hen she's really fragile and tiny and she um, doesn't like being around the other hens they're a bit too much for her so she stays with us in the yurt where we are trying to build her up some muscles and um, feed her up a bit. She eats like a horse anyway, so won't take long. Um, she's as bright as a button, um, just likes it a bit more quiet. She has the most beautiful eyes as well. Um, but anyway, <laughs> if you have hens, I hope they live a long, full and healthy life. 